Continuing with the previous video, so we will discuss about scalability and expanding universe as examples of the implications in the early universe. So such uh, um, scalability regime is also applied for the uh, Kintasan's models for the um, particle physics uh, model for the uh, dark energy. So uh, we can write the scalar fields in the expanding universe uh, like that, Lagrangian. So that there are some Jimmy Nu on the some um, determinants of the matrix will be the um, inserted and the auction, and uh, we can obtain the all uh, equation with most chances using the all Lagrangian equations, like even like that. And by assuming that uh, there are some special homogeneity, because in the largest case, the uh, universe is almost homogeneous. Uh, so, uh, um, actually, um, some derivatives of only the um, partial mirrors is only remains the partial juice because the uh, partial homogeneity. And the partial zero sort of the determinant of the matrix is that the uh, three a dot over the i and a dot over the i that defines as the Hubble's parameters. So you can change the motions for the scalar bit in an expanding universe as given like that to the pi plus three i g dot pi plus first derivative of the potential. And uh, if the Hubble frictions is extremely small to the comparison with the slope of potential, so it's a fast tourism. So such a friction term can be ignored. So the solution is just a periodic scalar piece. So there are oscillating scalar pieces that appears in the such a fast tourism. And but in the early universe, Hubble's parameter is extremely big because A is extremely small. So our friction term cannot be ignored, and the such a frictions to make the slow rules in the potential. So, if the slope of the potential and the friction term is comparable, this the such a slow rule regime is applied. And uh, we can write the change of the scalar fields in the potential that applies as a pi dot slope of the because uh, h is a time scale. And, If we start the H pi dots, it has a comparable scales with the slope of the V potentials, then the such a pi dots of the H can be written as the V prime of the H scale. And if the such a delta pi is extremely small, then the compare with the value of the pi, so it is the uh, conditions of the slow roll regime. So we can write the condition of the small, slow roll regime again. This is actually the V primes is a, a last standard edge scale pi. And if we uh, expand the potentials so that the polynomial pi m, then actually the V uh, is that some pi and uh, is to mean that the potential is less than the, some friction term, H scales of pi scale. Then if the such a friction term is dominant, such as the regime is applied for the scalar field. And if we give some specific example of the potential one half times k is the pi scale, then also if the friction is uh, extremely larger than the mass, where the mass is uh, uh, defines that because the uh, slow realism condition is a breeze is a smaller than the HSK is the pi scale. And actually the V is the one half the arm scale is pi scale. So if the arm is uh, extremely smaller than the friction terms, such as the rule is uh, are applied. And in contrast, if the uh, mass of the scalar field is extremely uh, larger than the upper frictions in the current, then the uh, scalar fields have so much lighting behavior. And uh, uh, because the uh, um, such as color piece uh, matter like so, uh, the density of the matter like constituents are proportional to a to the minus three. So there's a uh, a 
the three over two factors to be the multiplied because the energy density is proportional to the one half the pi dot square plus one half m square the pi square and if we insert the such a lighting solutions the pi dot and the pi uh, then we can normalize sort of the uh, solution sort of the pi that is actually a two root of the m pi. Um, we can also calculate the strength and tensor by the derivative sort of the actions of the matrix by the net theorems in the quantum field realism is actually given like that in the scale of this. And uh, uh, there is a component of the energy stress tensor we can calculate using this. The first term is that the uh, pi does here. And there are some Lagrangians, and uh, actually the energy density can be written as one half pi dot plus v pi. And the partial components of energy stress tensor i and j, there are the partial i pi, partial j pi, and the some Lagrangian part. And uh, it will be is that uh, only one half. I just care minus v pi and is actually the pressure from the i equal to the j. So uh, pressure can be written as a one half pi dot scale minus v pi, but another dance is one half pi dot plus potential energy. Uh, the slow realism is applied in such a condition. The pi dot scale is extremely small because that is a change of the color base and the color base is the uh, almost not changes in the slow realism and such a potential slope is extremely rather than compares with the um if we apply the, such a slow realism and it means that slow realism conditions are same with the uh, such a pi dot scale term is extremely smaller than the v pi. So it means the uh, energy density and the product can be written as uh, only v pi terms, and the energy density is minus v pi, and the project is plus v pi, and the pi dot are ignored here. Then from that, we can set the lows equal to the minus p. So energy density is minus sine of the project, and the such a Relations equation of the states for the vacuum energy, which make the uh, negative forces and induce the some uh, implication and acceleration of the universe or the uh, universal acceleration by the dark energy and the Kinton system model of the such a regime sort of the slow roll of the scalar piece during the current state.